on the Bobby Bones Show now. Dean Norris. You guys can check out Dean in United States of Al. It's comedy. It's out now uh, on CBS on Thursdays, also streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Dean, so happy to have you. So great to talk to you. How are you, man? Hey, I'm great, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, uh, feeling good. Yeah, me too. And how important is it for you, because you're hopping into a comedy, you're coming off a show where everybody knows your face from Breaking Bad, like that next step is pretty important, right? Why did you choose to go over and do a comedy? Yeah, I, um, you know, I'm going to do something completely different than I've been doing before, and sitcom's about as different as you can get from from a you know serious drama show. And had uh, the great Chuck Lorre uh, said he had a role for me, and I was like, great. Uh, that's somebody I really want to work with, so I'm going to do a sitcom, obviously. <laughs> He's done a few shows. Is there a... Um, and, and that was it, so... Is there a preparation involved in uh, that's different when you're going to shoot, uh, you know, a, a 30 minute sitcom versus, you know, when you're doing the the, the big drama role of Breaking Bad? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, the uh, sitcom is, you know, it's much more of a it's a live. Even though we don't have a full live audience because of COVID right now, it is shot as if we're in front of a live audience, and we have a lot of producers and writers and kind of. A smaller audience there, so there's kind of a theater feel to it, you know, getting ready uh, and and doing the show as opposed to uh, you know 16 hour days of shooting a drama. Do you ever crack? I mean, it's a comedy, and you're not supposed to laugh. Oh yeah, oh we crack all the time. We have such a good time. I love my cast. We get along very well, and we have so many laughs offset. And they inevitably get uh, to when to when we're filming. So we we have a lot of times where uh, all of us crack. So walk my listeners through the the plot, like the, the storyline of United States of Al, and why you think it'd be great for them to check it out just once, because then they'll be hooked for sure. Yeah, great. It's a it's a I play a guy named Art Dugan, who is a Midwest uh, military vet, and my son comes home from Afghanistan. He's a Marine. And he has some troubles adjusting. He has some PTSD. His marriage is falling apart. And then he brings his uh, interpreter, uh, Al, who uh, get, he gets him uh, over here. And just uh, as a side note, that's a very important thing that's out there, and I didn't realize it until the show. But uh, once you're an, uh, uh, an interpreter in Afghanistan, now you have a target on your back because you help the U.S. So getting them over here is a matter of saving their lives. So he comes over, and he and, and my son live uh, in my garage. <laughs> and I also have a daughter who lost uh, her fiancé to the war, and she lives with me too, an adult daughter. And we, you know, it's a, it's a really, seems like a really serious topic, and it is, but we deal with it through comedy. United States of Al, Thursdays on CBS, streaming anytime on Paramount+. Plus. Are you good at memorizing scripts? Like, I always felt like it was such a struggle remembering anything. Will you sit down and read the script and know it in a day? I'm pretty good at, at, at reading and at, at memorizing scripts. Yeah, it's uh, it has never been a problem for me. Thank goodness. <laughs> Will they let you ad lib at all? Since you're, you know, really one of the finer actors of the last twenty years. They 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 allow us to ad lib. We certainly we certainly can pitch our own jokes if we think that we have a funnier line, and we'll throw it out there. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So yeah, they definitely allow that to happen. How do they tell you it doesn't? They're just like, eh, eh, sorry, go back to the original. <laughs> Pretty much it, man. There's nothing. There's no. There's nothing like, hey, sorry to sorry to break it to you. They're like, that didn't work, Norris. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And it, listen, I know when I perform, I like to be told right away so I can just go on to the next thing. Does that ever hurt when yeah. you're like, oh, I got this. I'm gonna nail this joke, and then you're like, you try it, and they're like, nah, it wasn't that good. Uh, no, man. There's so many of them, you know. That and that's just part of the process. And the writers too. On the day, they will you'll do the scene, and then they'll throw you four different lines um, to try. So they're pitching them too, and and some of them work, some of them don't work. So you went to Harvard. So we're always pitching. Wait, you let me get yeah. this straight. You went to Harvard. I did. Dang, you are fancier than we ever thought, Dean. <laughs> I was the first person in my entire family to go to college, let alone uh, Harvard. 
How do you, but what about you? What was the skill set that you used to get Harvard to accept you in? Because you had to be pretty elite. Was it acting? Uh, it was not acting. Um, I was, you know, I was a valedictorian in my class. I was, uh, I did, I did well on my uh, on my SATs and all that stuff. And you know, well, I guess I wrote a a good uh, a good essay to get in. How many schools did you apply to, and did you expect to get into Harvard? Were you that good of a student? Were you like, I'm for sure getting in? I definitely didn't say that, but I, I applied to several of the Ivy League and, um, and and got into a couple. Oh, well, then maybe who rejected you? <laughs> Dang, who didn't let you in, Dean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to say. Uh, That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Uh, well, listen, I hope you guys check out United States of Al. It's a, it's a very funny show. Thursdays on CBS. And you, you will recognize his face because we all are massive Breaking Bad fans. If you go out now, does everybody just – are they like, that's that's Hank from Breaking Bad? Yeah, pretty much. Are you tired yeah. of it yet? Are you like, let me move on with my life? Or are you like, you know what, I am. Let's talk about it. Yeah, I, I don't say, yeah, I am. Let's talk about it. But I'm not tired of it by any means. Uh, you know, it was, it was a great show, and I'm, I was, I'm, I'm lucky to have been a part of it. So uh, anybody that, have, that, that appreciates that – and expresses that to me, I'm, I'm fine with it. Did they give you the full script for each episode or just your lines so that no spoilers would leak? Yeah, they gave us the full script. Uh, toward the end, they would, they would black out certain stuff and you'd have to read it in a, in a special room uh, because they didn't want it to, to fall into the wrong hands. But yeah, generally, they would give you the whole script. I actually would try to not read parts of them because I wanted to enjoy the show as a fan on Sunday nights when it aired. So I'd read my stuff, and then I'd try to, as much as I could, avoid other stuff. So I was as shocked or surprised watching the show as anybody else. What was the day like for you when the finale aired? It was uh, surreal, man. It was, uh, it was crazy. Um, actually, two episodes before, when I, spoiler alert, uh, things don't work out for Hank. There was this big party that uh, that the all these like Hollywood mega powerful people were at to watch the uh, the episode Osmondias, and it was like I mean I can tell you the who's who of people in Hollywood, and it was really surreal to have all them kind of sitting in this big house watching um, watching that episode. United States of Al from the pilot to when you guys started in production. And the same thing with Breaking Bad, pilot to we got picked up production. What's the what's the difference in how long those took? Uh, it, very short for United States of Val, um, partly because of Chuck Lorre, I'm assuming, and partly because that uh, we'd been trying to make this since last April, and it wasn't until uh, now that we got to really get into it. Uh, and uh, uh, Breaking Bad took uh, quite some time because – you know, you have to imagine at the time it was a crazy story, <laughs> and uh, I, you know, we all we all thought it was like one of the best things that we'd ever read and been in. But we all felt like, boy, is this going to make it on the air? How are they going to, you know, they, how are they going to market this? Blah blah blah. And thank thank goodness they did the right thing. So you didn't have to audition for United States of Al. Am I hearing that right? Right. Did you have to audition for Breaking Bad? Oh yeah. Do you know who you beat? If so, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> He's a really sweet. No, I don't know. Who I beat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tell I think I was. I will be honest with you, and I hope this doesn't sound immodest, but I think once I met Vince, we were. They were pretty convinced I because I was the guy. I didn't even even when you got these things what they call you do a test in front of the a, in front of the network, and uh, I'm not even sure anybody else was there. How, tell me what an audition process is like. Earlier in your career, you know, you were just auditioning for roles. Just you just go up to a room and is it like the movies where there's like twelve people sitting around in the same room and you just walk in and do your thing around the other people you're competing against? It's it's exactly that. It's exactly that. It's ridiculous. It's a it's a stupid process. Um, I actually enjoyed it because I uh, I got you know it was a chance for me to perform that day. But it's just a ridiculous process to, you know, read, be in a role with somebody who's reading it. Yeah, and you're sitting, literally sitting against three other, three other bald guys are sitting across from me, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay. 
what role are you guys going for? <laughs> you know? Well, I, listen, let me encourage everybody to check out United States of Al. Thursdays on CBS, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Obviously, we're big fans of Breaking Bad as well. And I think probably a lot of people see you on that and go, I should check this show out because I loved Hank so much on Breaking Bad. And you're just such a great actor. Had no idea you went to Harvard until I was doing a little research. And I was like, not only is he a great actor, he's, he's fancy, darling. That's right. He's, he's fancy Dean. That's right. From Harvard. Hey, Dean, we appreciate your time. You guys can follow Dean J. Norris on Instagram. And you guys check out United States of Al. Dean, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Have a great one. Bye-bye. It's a Bobby Bones show. Hey.